hi guys and welcome to another video so in today's video i'll be talking to you guys about surfactants <laughs> i don't know why i'm being extra anyways um yeah welcome back to another cosmetic chemistry video we're we'll talking about surfactants today now surfactants now when you think of surfactants what comes to your mind making soaps right i think i've sort of mentioned surfactants before in my previous videos but yeah surfactants is really just a short form of a surface active ingredient it's used to stabilize the mixture of oil and water because as you guys know oil and water don't mix so when you introduce a surfactant it helps to stabilize these two frenemies together and it does so by reducing the surface tension between both oil and water so surfactants, as I mentioned before, is used in detergents, soaps. They can also be used as wetting agents, foaming agents for shampoos, emulsifiers, uh, in creams, lotions, conditioning agents. I mean, there's so many uses of surfactants that are available. Some examples of ingredients that are surfactants are lowered sulfate, DEA, TEA, PEG, uh, propylene glycol, and so on and so forth. Today we're actually going to be focusing on four types of surfactants. Anionic surfactants, non-ionic surfactants, cationic surfactants, and amphoteric surfactants. Now these four surfactants are the most common surfactants that are available and that are used in making all of the things that I previously mentioned. Now starting with anionic surfactants. Anionic surfactants, if you know anything about chemistry, cathodes and anodes. Cationic means positive, anionic means negative. So anionic surfactants are negatively charged. An example of these type of surfactants is sodium coquio isotunate. So these types of surfactants have the best lathering qualities. They lather really, really well, so they do have a great cleansing power. They can be irritating to the skin if not used with milder surfactants. They're mostly used in making commercial industrial detergents. Moving on to number two. Non-ionic surfactants. Non-ionic surfactants, as the name suggests, is neutrally charged, so it's not negative, it's not positive. Some examples are L'Oreal glucoside and Vecchio glucoside. These type of surfactants are very mild, and as mild suggests, they are used in baby products, so baby washes, baby shampoos. Uh, they do not lather very well. They are also not sensitive to the hardness of water. Cationic surfactants. Cationic surfactants, as the name suggests, are positively charged surfactants. Some examples are honey quads and polyquads. So these are the surfactants that are mostly used in hair care products because they have conditioning and anti-static properties. These type of surfactants are used in conditioners. They can also be used in fabric softening detergents due to their conditioning properties. And the last type of surfactants that we have are the amphoteric surfactants. These surfactants are positive slash negatively charged. An example of type of surfactants is betaine. Great for reducing skin irritation. They have great conditioning properties and they boost their conditioning properties of other surfactants. They are foamy but they do produce less foam than the anionic surfactants. These vary from strength to strength as well. Obviously these surfactants all have their different strengths and some of them are not so strong. So therefore these surfactants are commonly combined together to get the satisfaction that you're looking for. So obviously amphoteric since they are positively and negatively charged they are usually combined with most of the surfactants and some combinations are anionic plus amphoteric and this obviously is to increase the boosting properties of surfactants. Another combination is cationic and amphoteric. This is used in boosting the conditioning properties of the surfactant. And lastly, non-ionic and amphoteric. So pretty much everything is, is combined with amphoteric at some point, depending on what you're looking for as, uh, as a formulator. But yeah, that's it. I really wanted to make a quick video about surfactants and tell you guys about them. They're always almost always used in a lot of things so you're most likely going to find a surfactant in a product that you're using all right y'all thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this quick video and leave a comment about what you enjoyed the most about surfactants if you have any questions about them be sure to leave them down below in the comment section and i'll see you guys next time Bye.